back it with you, man. Hey, man, I'm chilling, chilling, chilling. Just in here creating, man. What's going on? Happy New Year's to you, bro. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Hey. Real quick, man, because I haven't really got a chance to really like talk with you. You know what I'm saying? And and you're you're definitely you're definitely a beast, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna review this shit. Um, I'm gonna put it up on my YouTube channel, uh, just for more content and stuff. But like, what I what I really want to do is kind of interview some of the cats that are on Barkeepers. So we kind of kind of let heads know who like aren't a part of it and you're you are the guy you're the guy that you get the top rank most of the time like you are a super ill ass dude so um i just want to i just want to chop it up with you if you got a moment and we can put this on the social medias or whatever but i just want to like i want to interview you because you're a dope mc and you, like I, I see you I see you on other platforms spitting your bars, and I'm just like, yo, every everywhere this guy goes, he's a fucking monster. You know what I'm saying? So, first off, like, where where are you in the world? I'm in South Georgia right now. Um, oh, you're in South I'm Georgia. In South Georgia right now. So, um, I'm actually from New Jersey. I'm from North New Jersey. Oh, I'm trying to talk. I'm from North New Jersey, but I live in the South right now. Um, Why did I think you was like, <laughs> you, you know what I was like? Like in the UK or something. I don't know. What? I, I don't know. The barkeepers dudes time. are all from like all different places. Nah, I ain't never, never been. Never been. From My man is literally like a five hour drive from me, probably. Five, six hour drive. Where you at? I'm in Orlando. Orlando, yeah, that's like, that's like three and and a half, four hours, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Three hours. Yeah. You, you, can, you can get there in three. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're super close, man. Um, do you freestyle at all? Or do you is it all is it all like the written? It was written, man. It was written. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can freestyle. You know what? I ain't gonna say I can't freestyle. Obviously I can freestyle, but um not like you, man. You 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 crazy with it, man. Like you off the top just <laughs> Somebody can say something and you take that. Like that's that's me. That's that's a whole gift right there, man. I can I can I can do that a little bit, but you know, I need to work on that. Yeah, man. The more that you do that, like there was this, there was this. Um, it was a study done by um the like uh the National Council of um like deafness and other like audible diseases they like did a, a a study on freestyle rap and what it does for the brain one of the one of the dudes i think he was from the west coast open mic open mic eagle um they they basically scanned like 10 mc's brains and had them spit a verse that they knew and then freestyle and then they mapped their brain to see like what it was doing while they were having improvisational thought and it turned out that it really helped people who had issues in communicating that if you were to try to practice this on a constant basis that it would help you out so that there was like a lot of this was back in like 2012 that this study was done so there's been a lot of advancement as far as like with ai connected to the brain and all that shit wow. goes is going to be crazy but like freestyling is no matter what what like genre you dig like you could be a country music person but if you like if you practiced a freestyle game every fucking morning for like five minutes it would help you in whatever else you do so like that's why i push that shit so hard you know and it it could be like easy shit but i see mcs like you and i'm like man this dude is this dude is hella gifted you know what i'm saying so if you just have the smallest ability to freestyle, I would suggest, yo, man, do that shit every day because you are already a supreme beast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I yeah. will say this, though. Yes. NIDCD, uh, National Institute of Deafness and something, something, a study with Opa Mike Eagle. So Just Deluxe got it. Uh, thank you for referencing that if anyone wants to check it out. So how long have you been rapping? Like, how long have you been doing this? Um... I've been rapping since 90, 
96, 97. I mean, I used to write poetry, you know what I mean? So, so I was always writing. I used to write other people's rap. So, you know, like the first shit I wrote was um, If I Ruled the World, only because I wanted to rap it because it was so cool. I wanted to, I wanted to rap what he was rapping because it just sounded so fly. I was like, damn, I want to rap that. So after that, I just started writing my own stuff, like a little bit here and there. And then, you know, I, I really got serious around 2005, 2006. I started spending quality time with it. You know what I mean? Around that time. But I, I used to rap in ciphers and we used to freestyle, um, you know, but um, I will say that I was going to say, I will say I freestyled before and I have tapped in and I felt like I was going super saying, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, everything was connecting and shit. It's the best feeling in the world. So I, I do understand that. I just, like you said, I need to, you know, train that muscle or whatever. Uh, yeah, that shit is crazy. Yeah, man. Like when you have, have when you have that blackout moment, that's when and like you have that trip, right? That serotonin that it, like it only lasts for a certain amount of minutes, like in the human brain. But like there's exercises that you can do where you can call upon that more and for a longer right. periods of time. It's it's pretty dope, man. But hell yeah, man. So you what was you came up, you came up, you came, you came out around the same time that I w I started emceeing and doing my shit too. Um, when, what, like, what artists really pushed you to say like, yeah, man, I want to do this shit. I want to, I want to be on a level that they're on someday. Like, what were those artists that really made you say like, not like, what's your top artist, but like the ones that really like fucking pushed you to say like, I need to do this. Um, Big pun. Big pun. Yeah, Big I was gonna say, that's my guy. The number one is pun for me. Yeah, because Nas was already there. You know, Nas is just that dude. So Nas yep. was the foundation for me. But Big, when I heard Big Pun, like, I, I always say this, like, he was like a real life comic book character. You know what I mean? Like, you, no matter what he said, you felt like he could do it. Yeah. And you felt like he was going to do it. He could say, he could say he runs fast as a cheetah. He 500 pounds, you still believe in it. You know what I mean? Because he was just damn yeah. dope. Um, so yeah, he made me, he made me want to push my pen, um, uh, the most. But I say Nas, the big pun, you know, poetry wise, Tupac, stuff like that. But um, big pun was that guy, man. The whole terror. Hell spot, yeah. The whole terror squad was, was ill though. I like the whole terror squad got me going, man. <laughs> that's dope man yeah big pun is what got me um and then like when cannabis came on the scene <laughs> when cannabis yeah. came on the scene that made me totally like study the fuck out of lyricism you know yeah. what i'm saying that made me want to like holy shit like with pun it, it puns wordplay now he's going in and then like how deep cannabis was getting when he was dropping his punchlines, that was like right up my alley. It was pun, cannabis, and then like with like the aggressiveness that I push in my shows and what I do, like I was a heavy, heavy, heavy Busta Rhymes fan. He was the dude that got, that's kind of like the MOP feeling. Like when you went Annie Up drop, like you fucking went wild when that shit dropped. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It, it yeah. like Busta Rhymes gave me that that feeling as a character. Yeah. Buster Rhymes is the Annie Up song. <laughs> it's all entire like uh, Buster did that was so crazy was how he used to put like in the beginning of his videos, he used to put like his other other songs on his album, like a clip of it. Like he'll have another clip before the actual song will come on in his videos. And I thought that was brilliant of him because like it, it make you tap in even more. You're like, I want to hear that song and then he'll drop the actual, you know, the video. I that yeah, was cool, the, yeah and the, what was the was the Hype Williams that did was it Hype Williams that did the fish eye shit? Probably, probably was Hype. Yeah, was like that shit. Long. That shit was amazing, man. Oh, DMX Those, too. DMX, yeah, DMX. Yeah, yeah. Can't leave out DMX. Time with cannabis, DMX, and all that. The time when cannabis was like a speaking frequency. These dogs will have trouble hearing <laughs> cannabis. Is the lyrical version of German engineering. Raw metal. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, this guy, yo. He made me put my pen down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up. I was like, man, this dude is on another level. Straight alien, man. Straight alien. 
<laughs> people get mad when I say bus is top five. Like, I, I it was funny because I booked cannabis to come do a show out here in 2009. And uh, I, I opened up and I did my shit where I do the alphabet. Like, I go from, I go from like Z to N and then I go from A to M. So I do it like forwards and backwards, but I end on M to say Matt Ills. Um, and after I did that shit, he had got up and he's like, yeah, Matt Ills did his alphabet. So now I got to do my shit. And he did a, he ran through like an alphabet shit. And then he was like, um, he's like, right before he, he, drew, he goes into his fucking set and like, and um, what was it? He starts off with three, two, one. Three, two, one is the very first beat. Like his verse on three, two, one is how he starts his set. So right before he, he drops the beat, he's like, "The cannabis man and Matt Ill spit an ill rhyme." Two thousand and nine grind time is some shit like that. Then the beat drops and he starts going. And I'm like, "Oh fuck, this dude's like, this is the dude that I fucking worship coming up." You know what I'm saying? That's to be that's here that's doing that shit was. Crazy. Yeah, it's man, crazy. it was it's definitely crazy. like a, a check off the books, man. So you got you got music that you put out constantly, or what are you working on now? I'm working on a lot, man. I got I got so much coming out this year, man. Like multiple multiple joints coming out. I'm working on my album, my next album. Um, I haven't titled it yet, but I got I got some some people on it that's that's gonna surprise some people. Uh, Your stuff on like crazy. Spotify and all that right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm on all platforms. Power of Stones is my album. Um, I dropped last year. Uh, is is crazy, man. Um, it's got a lot of features on it, but man, it's it's just from top to bottom. I just wanted to like show the range. You know what I mean? Um, is it, you really doing some? I, what are some features that you've done with some guys? Because I've seen your name out there on some shit. Oh man, damn man. Let's see. Uh, I, I've done shit with. Uh oh man, a lot of people. Obviously, my Barshans, Blanc Jew. Uh, I did um, I did some with uh, I, I got a I got a track where I can't think of right off my head, but I got I got a joint with High Sunday and Euphonic Aspect. That joint is crazy. Um, ah, damn, I got. I got a joint. I got a bunch of shit. Man. I got so much shit. I, we got we got we got to so do a joint, man. Here, bro. Like I went crazy. We definitely got to do it. Joint coming up is going to be even crazier, man. Oh, I gotta, gotta get it in, bro. Too, man. Got to track with my, my professor, Nikki Facts. So. Yep, I saw that. I saw that. That's what I was alluding to. I'm yeah. glad you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's called Renaissance. Man. That, that's crazy. super dope, man. Like you're 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 a super dope MC, and I, I tell cats like whenever. If I'm going through this, if I'm going through um, a platform like a like barkeepers, right? Mm -hmm. I personally would go and look at the dudes that are that are getting the wins, and I'd study as to like what it is that they're doing. And a lot of people in in my DMs from the barkeeper guys have been super humble as to the approach. I take when judging these bars, mm -hmm. but I I reference you a lot because you win a lot. So my whole my whole thing with you is, is it it's you can tell that you've been doing it. You're comfortable in your style. You're a lyricist. You can you can pull punchlines right off rip. Like when you did your alphabet shit, I think it, you did one of the barkeepers ones like that mm -hmm. where you started off off like and it, it was just right off rip you could you were you know how to punch whenever the fuck you want to punch or you know how to get across your story as to what you're doing so i would i would definitely study that if i was some of the guys i, I tell them like hey man like your your lyrics are super dope but the feeling that you have when you're going about delivering your shit like i can't believe you like I believed pun when he said he was doing wild shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like you bring the same feeling like it, it, it's coming from you. So like you could say you was this person and I would I'd be like, yep, that that's him. I never met him, but that he is that guy. You know what I'm saying? Because you bring that out. So it's it's 
it, a, a lot has to do with like the character of how you're delivering yourself. And I feel like a lot of guys, guys on the barkeepers, that's just the one element that they're missing because a lot of guys have the bars, they have the punchlines, and they all have unique styles that they deliver themselves in. But some of the some of the like character behind it is is what's lacking. So with you, when it comes to being, I guess, comfortable in in how you deliver yourself, is that something that you always felt, or did it take years to do that? Because with me, with me, it was weird. It was um, it was battling. It was freestyle battling. That's how I was introduced. I tried to actually go and spit in a cipher when I first wanted to be a part of this shit, and I got battled and I got fucking ripped. Mm. And that was my encounter with hip hop. And I came back and battled the dude the next day, and then then I got my respect. But it it after after that one day, those types of encounters always felt normal to me so i always like wanted it or welcomed it mm -hmm. and i felt comfortable in that is that something that you had to work up to or did you just naturally like how did just i just have this gift that i'm just dope ass mc like how did that come to you i was born like this um no i'm just kidding <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> nah man like that's the end that's it that's the end of the yeah, right, that's it. Nah, i was man. born like this you know what it is it's like coming up and rapping with my, you know, my friends or whatever, you know, I always felt like I had to be, I had to be, I had to have conviction in my rap. So, you know, listening to the, the influences that I listened to, I saw everybody I listened to, they all had that. So I had a problem. Like when I used to rap, I used to rap too aggressive. Like, you know what I mean? I used to, yeah. you know what I mean? I was like, I guess, I, like I said, I blame cannabis for that shit because I was trying to get my entertainment, you know, cannabis, and, 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 and I had to tone yeah. it down a little bit. And once I toned that shit down, then I was able to, you know what I'm saying, finesse different beats or whatever. And I was like, wow, it opened me up to do, you know, to do different things or different types of beats. And I think the key to um, kind of getting comfortable is to explore yourself. You got to explore yourself. You can't just like, you know, you it, you got to put the the time and the effort into exploring yourself. Because once you explore yourself, you'll know yourself. You know what I'm saying? I hate to sound cliche, but you got to know yourself, man. You know yourself, and you know how you go on different beats. And um, Just you know, some people do a bag of shrooms and you are on mellow beats sometimes, and it'd be like, slow down, relax. Like you, you know, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be with the instruments. You gotta kind of like, you kind of gotta have. Yeah, a that's a that's a that's. that's that's another thing too is i find that some people with their style like they have they have a very particular style that doesn't allow them to change up themselves as the beat does so like some of these beats that we get are like hardcore aggressive and some of them are like chilled out one of them was even like hella like christmasy and the dudes that have the really dark um styles didn't sound good on like the uptones of the other beats and it didn't allow them to like flex themselves yeah. or play with it so like you're you sit in a pocket that's like really fucking dope because you don't you don't have to do like voice and like i have to do voice inflections to match whatever like you just have this natural like it's it's still right there but it's it's not like it's not it's not too dark for for the song like you could do some light shit if you wanted to like you sit in a really really dope pocket i try man i try um for everybody out there though just like relax like you know what i'm saying don't don't try too hard you know what I'm trying yeah. too hard and like don't try like tony shane tony shane, tony shane just tony you know he just he said uh, everybody starts off trying to have a rap voice instead of just owning their own. Like, right. and, and Tony Shane is a perfect, perfect example of a dude who has like, he he controls his style and his voice, and he he plays into it. Like when he creates the little characters yeah. and shit. Like, bro, look at my favorite videos when he yeah. does that shit. I'm highly entertained by by Tony Shane shit. Yeah, he got it, bro. He got it. He got it. He's one of them ones that got it. Yeah, man. But 
Yeah, bro. I just wanted I just wanted to uh just to chop it up with you for a quick second before I start getting into um judging these videos, man. But like hella salute to you, man. Um uh, so it's it's on Solu? Yeah, on Solu. On Solu and, and how'd you come across Solu. that name? People say oh, it's uh the name the A N comes from my first name, Andre, and the Solu comes from my last name, my, my last name is hyphenated, and it's, it's so, you know what I'm saying, so I put that together on, on Solo. Solo. So, you know I'm See, that's dope, man. It's part of your name. Like, me, I was I, I was freestyling, I was freestyling in the cypher, and this older dude from New York, he was like, yo, he's mad ill. We're going to call him Mad Ills. And that was it. Wait, wait, wait. And wait, then, wait. Did you get that name? How long ago did you get that name? Like a long time? Ago or uh, because you know, ninety fucking six. Damn. So you ain't have no name before. That was just your name right then, like, because I went through some names, like a couple names, but that was that was just it. What what was your what were your names? <laughs> <laughs> what were your names? Man? No. What was it? What was your first MC name? Yeah, mine was always Mad Ills. My first MC name was um, U Rock, and it was an acronym. It was, it was Unlimited Rhymes, of course. So it was like U Rock. <laughs> um, then I had, had then I had a uh, Saga. My name was Saga. That was like I, these these years, like. I was like tripping, like I just I, I didn't like saga. Anything. I would see you being a saga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, you know what? Yeah, my my man's name was Legacy, so it was like saga and legacy and shit. We was like, but uh, <laughs> then, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we, we couldn't take you seriously if it was that. It was nah, like, nah, <laughs> nah. so I was like, no, it ain't gonna work. So after that, my name was uh, Conquest. So uh, it was like Conquest it was K H A N Q U E S T. And that was my name for a while, man. Like I got some bars with that name. Like I put that, I put that, I put conquest up against any of these cats, you know, for real. Like, <laughs> like conquest, killing conquest, I'm, I'm the best. Period. But um, nah. Um, and and then solo, solo came more towards towards like more recently. Um, but yeah, that's part of my name. So I was like, you know what? That that's perfect. You know what I mean? Do you feel like this is? This is the last, like, you're going to be solo from here oh, on yeah. out? Like, you ain't doing that no more. <laughs> or is that it the, like, yo, nah, next year I'm going to nah, be, nah, you know, Soul nah, Quest. Nah, you know, nah, I'm going to mix nah, the two. Man. Nah, that's it, man. That's going to be on my tombstone, bro. That's it. <laughs> that's it. The Barshin, the Barshin, you know what I'm saying? Hey. That's it, man. I ain't going. Well, I ain't going through that. Now. So what is the bar what is the barshin? Because I, I hear everyone saying that. What is that? Uh, um well when I got on the bars app um a few years ago, what is it, two years ago now, I was just sitting there one day and I was just like, you know, right before I rapped, I was like, Yeah, it's your favorite barshin and then it just stopped. <laughs> Shout out Lake 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 Show got it. He started saying like Oh, it's the Barshan, it's the Barshan, I sold you the Barshan. I was like, yeah, that's me. I'm I'm your favorite Barshan. So, you know, me and um Blanjou got together and I was like, yo, you know, we were doing four bar, not four bar, what do you call it? The um with the teams and shit, the four teams, I mean the four play people on one team. And we was like, let's just be the Barshans. And then, you know, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? It, it became a group. I think now we got now we got class, Blanjou, Elo. And Conti and myself. Were you guys around like when I judged a tournament that they did? Uh, the four uh, bar app? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, uh, no, nah, we just started last year. Was it before last year? Because I know last year was the, when I first started with the four bar joint. Oh, okay. It wasn't, it don't go further back than that. Four bar rap. Right. Four bar rap ransom. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that dude from that place uh Canadian? I think so. With the bushy eyebrows? The guy with the bushy eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool ass dude. Yeah, grandson said he does judging for them. Yeah, he's, I, 
he's, he's I, I judge I judge for them. He's dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those dudes are dope. Yeah, man, cool. like everybody like from from what I've personally been through, and I'm not like I'm not the most successful guy, but like Grind Time was a, a super huge movement. And we were able to build that because of the talent that we had in other places. Mm-hmm. And I, I just want to harp on this with the barkeeper guys and all of the, the judges and, and the MCs because in their own rights, they do their thing and, and people love them. And there's so many like dope individuals that come to these particular apps that at any given point if if everybody said like okay we're going to like we're going to champion for this we're going to we're all going to push outwards and say come to this shit this is this is where it's at and like and and then act physically on it it could it could be just as big in in a market like this that grind time went up in so grind time took off in a recession in 2008 mm-hmm. so when no, no one was trying to fly or do like we were fucking booming and it was everybody wanting the entertainment and to be a part of something that like we all want to same thing with the pandemic as soon as it was over, even though times are getting harder, people are spending more money on entertainment. Mm -hmm. So these are the times that are ripe for for artists to be be like, hey, let's let's all be be a part of this and figure out how to bring this to a physical. You know what I mean? Because with... 20 to 30 MCs who frequent this weekly affair for 137 fucking weeks, like, there, there could be some something that builds out of this. Like, there's enough content that has been collected. There's enough proof of, of community to be able to gather numbers and put together a deck for and push out. Like I just, while I'm doing this, I, I always like want to want to harp on like, this is the reason why I take my time out to do this. And I'm nobody special. Like you're great for taking your time out and just coming up here and speaking with me like this, but like to put the time in to do this is because I, I genuinely believe, believe in all of the people on this platform and you're one of the dudes that gets the gold all the time and you're at the top and so in saying that i want to say like i i deeply believe in you and your talent i deeply believe in in this platform and these people because i've i've been on tour and i got to meet like all of like the new york cats and i i and i met bison and um Defia and um, Wes Studi, like I met uh, I'm up with him a couple times when I've been going out to New York and shit. And like speaking with High Sunday, like these are really really dope people. And and mm-hmm. I definitely think that putting together our heads, especially like you guys, don't seem like you're idiots. Like all of you seem like you're very fucking intelligent. Like. Tony Shane is very intelligent. Grandson Music is very intelligent. Like, everybody seems to not have some sort of a fucking crazy disorder that keeps them on here. Like, it, it all seems that, like, yeah, these Tony dudes are... Shane, Tony Shane got, got a disorder. I know that. Tony Shane got... <laughs> <laughs> he definitely got, he got something going on. Like, you guys are all fucking brilliant. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I... I'm I'm a fan of this as much as anything that I've ever accomplished. I'm just a fan of seeing cats spit bars over these beats every week. You know what I mean? Like I love that shit. So it's salute dope, to you, Mister Osolu. Like it's dope to it's dope to learn that that's um that's like a part of your, your real name. Yeah. So that's cool because I thought 
um, I think Grandson said it earlier, like on some like emperor type shit or something like that. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it might. It sounds a little Star Warsy a little bit. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, on so. <laughs> All right, my G. I'm gonna get into judging these. It's, I appreciate you for coming up, man. I'm gonna uh, throw this up on my YouTube channel. It's kind of like an interview, and just leave it there, and then run it along with the judging for these bars. So I appreciate you, sir. <laughs> um, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Man, it's dope. It's dope, man. Dope to learn about on solo like that. 